Welcome back guys, it's the Tight Wide. I'm back with another video for the Cub Cadet RZT mower. This concept actually applies to any riding mower because it's a, I have an electrical issue. Today we'll be um, showing how to diagnose your electrical issue and then how to fix it. Uh, this particular issue ended up being a safety switch issue so I will show you how to remove the parking brake safety switch on the Cub Cadet as well. Hope you guys enjoy. I have a multimeter, but it's hard to work with sometimes when I just want to see if voltage is actually um, occurring in a certain area. So now I've bought this test light where it has a negative lead here. I've attached it to the ground on my mower. And whenever I touch it to anything that has voltage, it lights up so that shows 12 plus volts on the battery so we know the test lights working so now we want to test to see where our, our continuity stops with our system so your power comes from your battery on your positive terminal and runs down to your solenoid when I touch to my solenoid you can see I still have 12 volts so that means my cable is good my fuse that's right here is good and my solenoid is getting power. I just put a new solenoid in, check the ground, the ground's good. The next place that uh, power needs to occur is this little piece right here. This needs to get power whenever the key is turned on the ignition of the mower so that what it does is it sends 12 volts here, it charges the solenoid which connects between these two posts. If I touch this post right now, on the opposite side of the solenoid I get nothing because it's not charged and there's no connection between these two posts. Once those two things energize and the, the post connects, it goes through, um, goes to the starter and then the starter is what starts your mower. So we need to find out why this guy right here is not getting power to it when the ignition is turned. It could be several things. There's a series of security switches on your mower. I'll show you where they are. One of them most people know is right here under your seat. Since I'm working on my mower, I have my uh, security, my safety switch for my seat disconnected. You can just disconnect it. That means when you get off the seat, it doesn't. the mower doesn't know that you're no longer on the seat. Another safety switch is here. This is what your safety switches in this area looks like. You can push them in, um, but you can't really test them. Just because they push in doesn't mean they work. There's also one on this side since your handles have to be in an upright position in order to start the mower. You have one, have one here, which lets the mower know that the parking brake is engaged. I think this is our culprit for our issue. There's also one underneath the PTO that lets you know if the PTO is pulled up or not because the motor won't start if the blades are engaged. All right, so we're now to the point where we need to narrow down what the electrical issue is. If you notice on the side of your mower, you have four red dots. And on this particular mower, once everything is in order, you turn the key, you should have no red dots. But you can you notice when I turn the key, I get the dot for the parking brake, uh, which typically would mean that the parking brake is not engaged. The parking brake is engaged, so that lets me know that there's an issue somewhere in the wiring related to the parking brake. If you come down in front of the mower, we disengage the parking brake. You can see that there's a little um, gray button in here, and if I get my finger in there, I can push it in. That's a switch, so when I raise the parking brake lever and push it over, it depresses that gray button, and that should change the switch to the correct setting to allow voltage to go to the solenoid which in turn goes to the starter which will start the mower. Right now since this is a safety switch it appears that either that switch or the relay for the parking brake is bad. The problem is we have to figure out how to get to that switch and um, the side of the body of the mower is solid so I can't go from the side. I don't want to remove the deck if at all possible. So I'm going to try to go in through the back. To go in through the back, you can see on that side you have the gas tank. This is, there's your cap. 
it's your gas tank. On this side you have your battery. And I think if I remove the battery, we're going to check and see. If I remove the battery, I think I should be able to get to it from the back side to remove that switch and then we'll look at how to test it. Once the battery is removed, you can see that top black line, which is a hose co or a wire cover, going all the way to the front, farthest away from us, with the gray piece and then the black piece, gray on the right, black on the left. That is your switch for your parking brake. And there are no screws, so we have to figure out how to remove it. When you come to the front of the mower, you can see they're just plastic clips holding that safety switch in place. So I'll try to take a screwdriver or something else to pinch those clips down. The hole's not big enough to use needle nose pliers unless you have some long handle needle nose or some reverse clamp needle nose pliers. Uh, but a standard set like these won't work because the hole's not big enough. So I'll take my screwdriver and try to work down the top side first and then get the clips from the bottom side and pop it out. Once it's popped out, we can retrieve it from the back side. You can see I now have the clip pushed through so that I can retrieve it from the back side. I ended up using a small flathead screwdriver and I pushed the top clips in, into the hole first and then I just lifted up from the bottom of the clip while pushing towards the back of the mower and it popped out. I don't think I broke any of the clips so we'll be able to slide it back in once we get our new um, safety switch if this is the issue. The safety switch was in fact bad on my parking brake. I ordered a new one directly from Cub Cadet and replaced it. The safety si switch simply pulls out of the plug. You just pop the new one in and push it back into the metal bracket that's holding it in place. If you found this video helpful, you can help me out by giving me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos related to this mower as well as videos related to other repairs around my home. If you want to see my video showing how to test and replace a solenoid on your lawn tractor or other small engine device, click the video on the top left. If you want to see my review video for the Cub Cadet RZT mulching attachment, click the video in the top right.